Hey, Holman community. Welcome to another evening of Holman Story Time. I have my niece Olivia here tonight, and she's going to help me tell you the story. Tonight we're reading Imogene's Antlers by David Small. Does this look like an interesting book, Olivia? Yeah, you've been reading the pictures. I haven't looked at this book at all, so we're going to get to read it together. Here we go. On Thursday... When Imogene woke up, she found she had grown antlers. Oh my goodness. Getting dressed was difficult. And going through a door, let me hold it like this, good job. And going through a door now took some thinking. Imogene, good job. Imogene started down for breakfast. She's sliding down the banister. <laughs> the next page. But got hung up. Oh, Imogene's mother fainted away. She's hung up on the chandelier. <laughs> Her <laughs> mother fainted. Her mother fainted. You think she's shocked? Yeah. The doctor poked and prodded and scratched his chin. He could find nothing wrong. The school principal glared at Imogene, but had no advice to offer. Who's that? The principal. Doesn't seem very nice that he's glaring at her. Her brother Norman consulted the encyclopedia and then announced that Imogene had turned into a rare form of miniature elk. Imogene's mother fainted again and was carried upstairs to bed. <laughs> that's it all goes down that song. <laughs> oh my goodness. Imogene went into the kitchen. Lucy, the kitchen maid, had her sit by the oven to dry some towels. Lovely antlers, said Lucy. The cook, Mrs. Perkins, gave Imogene a donut, then decked her out with several more and sent her into the garden to feed the birds. <laughs> Look at the birds. Oh my goodness. You'll be lots of fun to decorate come Christmas, said Mrs. Perkins. Look at all those birds. That's a lot of cool birds. Got the page. Later, Imogene wandered upstairs. She found the whole family in Mother's bedroom. Donuts, anyone? she asked. Her mother said, Imogene, we have decided there is only one thing to do. We must hide your antlers under a hat. Norman telephoned the milliner. You know what a milliner is? A milliner is someone who makes hats. So they're calling a hat maker. Do you think they're going to be able to make a hat to cover up her antlers? No. No? <laughs> oh. Let's see. At three o'clock, the milliner arrived. Rapidly, he sketched a few designs, then set to work. Voila, said the milliner. Bravo, bravissimo, cried his assistants. Thud, Imogene's mother had to be carried away once more. <laughs> what happened to her mother? <laughs> Did she faint again? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Did the hat work? Yeah. It's kind of big, isn't it? Mm -hmm. After dinner, Imogene practiced her piano lesson. Then, yawning, she folded her music, kissed the family, and went to bed. Imogene sighed, remembering the long, eventful day. What had happened? What had made the day eventful? Because he had answers. <laughs> On Friday, when Imogene woke up, the antlers had disappeared. 
When she came down to breakfast, the family was overjoyed to see her back to normal. Her mom didn't faint. Her mom didn't faint. Until she came into the room. Oh my goodness. What does Imogene have now? Her antlers are gone, but she has what? Feathers. What kind of feathers? Do you know what animals those are? Uh, uh, oxes? Peacock. Peacock. She has peacock feathers. Oh my goodness. Her mother faked. And she's still standing, but I think they definitely look surprised. Definitely look. Oh my yeah. goodness. Shocked. It looks like she's going to fake again. <laughs> like she's going to faint again. That was a fun story. I wonder if there's a book about Imogene's peacock feather tail, huh? We'll have to yeah. look. I hope you guys enjoyed story time tonight. Have a fantastic week, Calm and Huskies. We sure do miss you. And we'll be with you with another story next Monday. Bye, everybody.